Hi, this is Gary with Mac Moments Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to cut out an object in a photo using Preview. So Preview is a pretty versatile tool, and the latest one in Snow Leopard actually has a lot of image editing capabilities. Let's take a look. So here's a simple image of an apple in a white background. Now let's say I want to cut out that white background. So one way I can do that is to use the selection tool, the lasso selection. If you don't have these toolbars at the top, by the way, you can go to View and Show or Hide Toolbar here. So I'm going to have the lasso selection turned on, and I can outline the apple. I'm going to do it really sloppily here, so as not to take up too much time. And now I've selected the apple. But what I could do very easily is invert selection under the edit menu. And now I've selected everything but the apple and I can delete everything around it. Now you can see I got a pretty sloppy cutout here. If I had taken my time and gone carefully around the edges I could have gotten something better. So here's another way to do the same thing. In the selection menu you can go to Smart Lasso. And what this will do is it will draw this fuzzy area around the outside there and it's going to try to figure out where the edges are inside of that red area. So I can be a little quicker with my drawing and let my Mac do the rest. So now I release, you see, I get a, a much better cutout here, especially around the well defined edges, and not so much here. So invert the selection, cut it out. I get something a little bit better than before. So this works better on some in images than others. And here's a third way to do that. You can go to Instant Alpha and you grab an area that's at a different color than the main area here. So I can grab the white area and I drag and it will basically select the area either more or less uh, depending on how far I drag from the spot. So you can see I can drag in more and it's getting rid of too much of the apple. So I want to get it just right in here and now it's selected just about everything I could Try it again. There, got a better selection. And now I can cut that out and I end up with a great cutout of the apple. These techniques work for photos as well. So for instance, I could do the instant alpha here and start removing colors. Uh, and it gets a little more difficult when all the colors are blended like in a real photo. I can do a smart lasso and grab portions of the image. So if I can zoom in here and say grab a portion like this using the Smart Lasso and then grab a section like that, delete it and then continue around deleting more sections. I could eventually end up with a pretty good cutout. Now note to preserve the transparency, the alpha channel around this, you want to go and save it as and then choose a format that supports an alpha channel like PNG. It's probably the most common one. So I'll save this out as redapple.png instead of the original JPEG image. Now you can use these cutouts to compose one image on top of another. So for instance, for this apple here, I can select all, copy, go into this image and paste and you can see how it's cut out here. I can then resize it stick it anywhere I want in the image. I can also use these images as picture in picture in iMovie like this. Now to effectively use this in iMovie as picture in picture what you want to do is make it the same screen dimensions as your video. So in this case it's not. You can see it very easily by going to view and show image background. And you can see the image there and where it's semi-transparent. You want to make it the same as your video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and copy and then I'm going to go to Tools, Adjust Size, unlock this and set it to the same dimensions as my movie which is going to be 1280 by 720 say for standard HD and hit OK. And it will stretch the image. That's no problem. I'm going to select it and delete it and then paste back in the original, scale it down and then center it like I want. So now I get something that is semi-transparent and the same dimensions as the video I'm going to use. When I use this in picture in picture it will work perfectly. And they work great in documents, say in pages or Word or even on websites where you want the background to show through around the object. So that's how to cut out an image using only preview. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.